What's up guys? We're back with another epic top 10 video and this one I've been thinking about doing for quite a while. I'm actually really excited to do it. This is YouTube's top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh! polls of all time and I'm not talking about just mine. I'm talking about all of YouTube, all Yu-Gi-Oh! pulls. We're gonna show the top 10 based on what I think should be in the top 10. I even asked on Twitter and I got a couple of good suggestions from there. I had a few in mind that I thought I really wanted to show because they're incredible and they have very low views for what happened in them. Before we get started in that, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these Ghost Girl Ultra Rares. All you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think was snubbed or what you think was too high, etc. from these. And if it was not in there at all, make sure you guys mention it. And if you know of a moment that you think should be in the top 10, but I didn't mention, make sure you guys put it down below. For every ranking, I'm gonna be talking about why I think that deserved to be in the top 10, because this is such a big video. There's all of these amazing polls on YouTube and only 10 of them make it. So I'm gonna try to give a rationale of why it's in the top 10 and why certain ones are not. So like 10,000 Dragon, there are so many on YouTube. A lot have been pulled, it's a newer card. I only put one newer opening in here and it's just because it was just crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys. Let's hop into it and hope you guys enjoy it. All right, I saw the edge of a starlight. All right, let's see. She's coming up or he. I really hope it's not the same one. God, yeah, it's $350 though. Tiana, I pulled another starlight. I accidentally spoiled the season finale. Yeah. yeah, I got another Starlight Lolly. I don't get it. Alright, Starlight is two away. Let's all be nice and surprised. Oh, alright, 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 alright. It's the second least valuable Starlight, but at least it's not the, uh, the Lolly. Come on now, come on now. Ooh, baby! That's big. $426. All right, let's see what we got, team. You can see it poking out right there. Look at that little tease. Oh, three dollars. Come on, baby. Oh, a stinky five hundred and eighty dollars. Oh, baby, that's huge. Oh my goodness, I I accidentally just spoiled it. We did it. We just had the equivalent of like a major league perfect game. We got the last Starlight we were missing. In one night, we pulled every Starlight in the set. Not only did I get another Starlight, I got another Ghost Mourner Starlight. This is the fourth one. $350 and I have four of her now. All right, so you guys just saw the number 10 ranked clip. That was Moist Critical or Charlie. He pulled seven Starlights in one opening. Now, he did open a lot of boxes. So you're saying, well, he opened a lot of boxes. What's the big deal? He opened 69 boxes, which is a lot, but he pulled seven Starlights. Usually you pull one Starlight for every 25 boxes. He pulled seven Starlights, which should amount to 175 boxes if you do seven times one out of 25, but he only opened 69 boxes, which is less than half of the boxes that he should have needed to open. So the ratios were absolutely crazy. That's kind of like opening 12 boxes, searching for a ghost rare and pulling three ghosts instead of having to open 36 boxes, something like that. It's just crazy the ratios he had. So that's why I have that at number 10, even though it is a newer set with a lot of newer cards. And the newer cards are a lot more prevalent on YouTube because a lot more people are recording now rather than back in the day. So that's why a lot of newer cards did not make it like 10,000 Dragon because lots of people have pulled it on YouTube. It looked really nice. The supers now look like they're the whole car is thick when they're hollow. So I, I liked the D supers back then when you could barely tell if they were hollow. This is my opinion. So, natural disaster, Chamberlain, no entry, glad he's returned. Oh my god, I got a super, a secret necro face. Do you know how much these are? Oh my goodness. Got a secret necro face. Got a secret necro face. Bruh. Oh my god, that is sweet. Look at this card. All right, you guys just saw a super crazy video. This was seven years ago. And I don't know if this guy still even makes videos or anything, but he only had like a thousand subscribers. This video deserves a lot more views. By the way, all of these will be linked in the description, so make sure you go check out the original videos. But this guy pulled a Necroface, which is unlimited, but there has never been a Necroface first edition poll that I know of on YouTube. And I think this may be the only Necroface poll at all, which is why it made it. Such a rare card from Gladiator's Assault. I've opened a lot of Gladiator's Assault myself, and I've never pulled one, so it's just extremely rare to see one pulled, and it was super cool. My favorite part was how he chucks it down on the ground after he says, wow, this is an expensive card, and then he chunks it down. That's pretty funny. Just so there's not as much swapping around. 
Yeah, every time it's swamp, you gotta... Yeah, exactly. Try to, as little edits as possible. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It happened! It happened! What is it? I can't believe it happened! It actually happened! Oh my actual goodness! No alt eruption. What's going on here? I know, yeah, I'm complaining and I just pulled a ghost and a spellbook of secrets. Again, epic pull. Thanks, pop them up. Ooh. Got something, boys. Oh my god! Oh my god, it happened! It happened! It happened! It, it happened! Woo! I said it. Calm down, sit. You guys have seen this clip before. You guys saw the battle against me. Yu-Gi-Mo pulled two ghosts. I mean, it's just crazy. So he didn't open too many packs. That's the crazy thing. He only opened like maybe like 20, 30 packs and he pulled two ghost rares. The ratios are one out of 288. It really should have taken him 576 packs to pull two ghosts and it only took him like 40. So that was wild. And not to mention it was in a pack battle. So that made it more cool. So I had to throw that one in here. The only other time I've seen two ghosts pulled in a video were when we pulled two for the viewer who bought those Dimension of Chaos packs. So I've only seen it twice. You guys can let me know if it's happened again. But let's move on to the next one. Pack two. So not, not the LOB, you know, foil off of the bang start that I was hoping for, but that's okay. Oh, we've got um, Spirit Message in. Oh, wow. Okay. Spirit Message in. Can we pull something? Oh, Book of Moon, guys. This Book of Moon's been printed so many times, but Retro Pack 1 is the most valuable version, so that's pretty cool. Skull Invitation. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. It's a nice common. Yes! No way! It's not the blue eyes from the LOB, but it's as good as you're gonna get. No way, no way, no way, no way. Here is the only pull from my channel that I put in, and I put this Blue Eye Shining Dragon pull in because Blue Eye Shining Dragon is extremely difficult to pull out of Retro Pack 2. There are like 11 secret rares. The ratios for pulling them are not known. So if the secret rare ratio is at one in 24 to pull a secret rare, which seems a little low, it may even be like one in 36 or more. But one in 24 and you times that by the 11 secret rares to pull the specific blue eyes shining dragon you get a one in 264 chance and in that video i only opened six packs so very small chance to pull that it has only been done on youtube twice i believe someone linked a video last time i said i was the only one and I did see another one. It was a guy like a long time. It was like 2010. It was like the set had only been out for a year and he pulled it and he was like, cool. That was it because it was so new. So there have been a couple of pulls, but because it's so rare and because of the chances of pulling it out of only six packs were super low, I put that in at number seven. I thought we weren't gonna get any there for a minute. So we're almost halfway through. Here we go. Can we get 10 foil cards? No! And lucky cloud. Got your knights, stealth roid. No, baby! No! No! What? What? No! Magic formula! What? No! No! I've never opened that card in my life. Easily a hundred dollar card. What is going on? No! The best gladiators assault opening ever. What is going on? It's like. It's like saying that card that we could pull that card is like kind of a, like a joke in the beginning. Like, what? What? That is incredible. Here we have Simply Unlucky, the legend himself, pulled a magic formula. And magic formula, if you don't know, is possibly the hardest to pull secret rare of any card in Yu-Gi-Oh. It is insane. The ratios are not known, but there has only ever been one pulled on YouTube that I know of, and it was the unlimited one that he pulled in the clip you just saw. So it is extremely rare to be pulled on YouTube. A lot of people have opened Gladiators of Soul, including myself. We've never pulled Necroface, never pulled Magic Formula. So those two are like probably equal rarity, but Magic Formula always is the top tier. Like people always want to find that book when they're opening Gladiators of Soul. I definitely related with him in that video because I think his face cam cuts out and it's just painful. At least he got the pull in when I cut out my face cam and I missed the actual pull of the Genzo on the 10K special. So I related with that, not to mention he pulled one of the rarest cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! 
crazy, even unlimited, because there has never been a first edition pulled on YouTube. Pretty cool to see, so I had to put that at number six. Probably in Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, so I think I've got all the commons now. So it's just the rares and hopefully a hollow. Giant Flea. Kubagata Alpha. Axe Raider, there we go. All right, that's my hollow. Oh, that's a good one. Sweet, that's... After White Hole, that's probably the best super to get. Uh, I mean, of course, these older cards, when they came out, they were good. Like, that Burning Spear would have been fairly decent, because equips were few and far between. And they were always tailored to specific monsters. So Giant Flea, Kawagata Alpha, and... Oh, Mechanical Chaser! No way! One in 108 packs, and I got it! Holy crap, look at that. Oh my god, I got two hollows in a tournament pack box. That's unheard of, you guys. That's crazy. Oh man. Now we've entered the top five. You guys just saw Old School Expert pull two foils, Mechanical Chaser, and Axe Raider out of a TP1 box. The ratios are extremely difficult on tournament packs. He pulled the Axe Raider, which is 1 in 18, and he pulled the Mechanical Chaser, which is 108, both in 20 packs, which is insane. Even in the time period when he pulled it, it was still really difficult to pull those, even though the prices did not measure up to what they do now. I think he said the Mechanical Chaser is $45. Now, if it's a PSA 10, it's probably three to $4,000. Even though the price didn't measure up, the sheer rarity of those cards and pulling two in one video was pretty awesome. Lesser Dragon. Masaki, the legendary swordsman. So this is the second fusion material for the flame swordsman. The M Warrior One. Mountain. And yes! Wow! Oh my god! Wow! We just did it. Exodia the Forbidden One. First edition. LOB. Oh my god. That is awesome. Alright, here we go. This is the last pack. I'm really hoping to get another ultra rare. But as I already said, these old packs are usually don't contain a lot of hollows and I mean we got Exodia so it doesn't even matter Kurama Terra the Terrible Dark Grey a Turtle Tiger and holy oh my this is what is, what is wrong with this box a blue eyes white dragon in the last pack after pulling Exodia and Raigeki <laughs> This is madness. Wow. I cannot even believe it. I thought that this opening had to be in here at some point because there's only ever been two North American first edition Blue Eyes White Dragons pulled. And this was the second one in 2018. Yu-Gi-Oh! Old School pulled a Blue Eyes White Dragon and an Exodia head from the same box, which was absolutely crazy. And not only did he pull Blue Eyes, but he pulled it in the very last pack, which made the dramatic effect just insane. I think the boxes were around $1,000 at that point, so the price wasn't at what it is now, but it is still super crazy because it's only happened two times on YouTube. So be looking out for that first time. Does it even matter with these old school icon packs? Just again, pure nostalgia. Oh, whoa. What? Yeah, there's a there's a hollow on the first card. No way. Are these the misprint packs? Oh my god. Bro. 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 Are you kidding me? Yo, I gotta stop the video. Bro. Did you reseal these or some Are you kidding me? Five dollars out of one pack? At number three, I had to put a crazy error opening. I'm sure there are some others that I don't know about that could maybe make the cut, but this one was super cool. This one was absolutely insane. He bought a Pharaonic Guardian first edition pack and he opened it up and he got five foils, which is just insane. There is There was a few of these packs floating around. It, it was like rumored that there might be a few more, but catching it on camera was absolutely legendary. So that's a super cool video that has hardly any views because he was such a small channel at the time. You guys need to go check that one out. Pretty insane. The heavier one. I'm really hoping for the morphing jar. If I get it, 
I can't promise how I'll react. I'll probably not really freak out that much, but I mean, it's a very expensive card. If not, if I get a rare, even the rares in the set are very, uh, very nice to have. Okay. Queen of Autumn Leaves. Another Water Magician. And, oh, wow. Oh, it's a Jinz, oh my gosh. It's a Jinzo jar. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, if you didn't know about this, so Morphing Jar is one of those cards where it has a rare hollow misprint. If you can see very closely, it's got that Jinzo head outline. So they call him the Jinzo jar. And I was not expecting this at all. Finally, we're at number two. You guys saw a crazy and absolutely insane, some might say the best on YouTube pull. He pulled a not only a morphing jar from Tournament Pack 2, which now are worth like $8,000 in PSA 10. At the time, it was only like three years ago, so they were still worth quite a bit back then. But he pulled a morphing jar mint with a Jinzo head background. So the Jinzo jar is a very iconic misprint. It's insane. He has the outline of a Jinzo on his morphing jar. And not only that, I know he graded that card at PSA 10. So that opening was absolutely crazy because I think he pulled some other errors in the same video, but that one was the biggest one. So just an absolutely crazy one that maybe some would say is number one, but number one for me, I've got to show you guys, it just takes the cake. All right. It is time for the first edition Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon pack. Uh, some of these sell for $15 to $20 on eBay. I've seen them go for that much. I was thinking about selling this one, but I thought, you know what, it's free. I'm going to open it. If anything is a hollow, this is what I would want. But if it's a rare, I would love a fusionist because I don't have one. And it doesn't look like it's hollow, but that's all right. So Hitatsu Mi Giant. Laser Cannon Armor, Petite Angel, The Furious Sea King, and a Giant Soldier of Stone. It's not a fusionist. Oh well. Whoa, what the hell? Are you Whoa. kidding me? Whoa, that's... What? How is that possible? I just got a first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's in perfect condition. This is... Holy... You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Right. You guys saw the number one poll on YouTube, in my opinion, and I'm going to explain why. You might think maybe that a misprint could beat it out, but here's why I think this is the number one poll. So Old School Expert back in 2013 bought something. I'm not even sure what it is, but he said that the seller threw in three free packs. He opened the first two. They were like first edition packs, or maybe one was unlimited. He pulled a foil. Then he gets to the Legend of Blue Eyes first edition pack, by the way, which I spent a thousand dollars on one of those now he got one as a freebie so that just makes his story even crazier he got a freebie lb blue eyes pack first edition he opened it up he got to the rear it was a giant soldier of stone and he thinks well oh well it was just a free pack he goes to the next card first edition lb blue eyes he not only pulled a first edition lb blue eyes but it was an error pack with an extra card and it was a freebie so he got that for free error pack with a first edition LB blue eyes the first time ever pulled on YouTube and one of two times ever that is why I put it at number one I think it's the most insane thing ever this was a lot of fun so I hope you guys enjoyed the top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh pulls on YouTube ever it was pretty fun to make a lot of these moments have not been shown the appreciation they deserve so I figured I'd make a top 10 video and link all of the videos down below so if you guys are interested in watching them themselves please do it they deserve more love and that's it for today I'll see you guys later Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Boom. Oh! <laughs>